Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Well, it sure has been a cold day out there. It is not feeling like the middle of November, and I'm just telling you right now, it's going to get even colder. Can you believe that? Over the next several days. So I have more on that coming up in a couple of seconds, but here's a live look outside downtown Louisville where we had some snow showers and flurries just a couple hours ago. It actually put down a light coating on some grassy surfaces and on top of cars. That was about it. Then it passed by and that was actually with a surge of much colder air that's pushing in. We're going to start to feel it later tonight. 31 is the current temperature, so it's feeling like winter. Look what it feels like because of that wind. It feels like 20 degrees. You need the gloves, your hands, your nose, your ears. You need the hats too. That's going to freeze a lot quicker than other parts of your body. So stay warm out there. Now with it feeling like winter, doesn't it get you in the mood for a winter weather forecast? Well, tune in a week from tonight, Wednesday, November 23rd, right before Thanksgiving. Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi, Gar Cardosi will release his uh, winter forecast, and we're going to be talking about uh, the La Nina or El Nino, depending on the pattern we're going to get and whether it's going to bring us a lot of snow or not a lot of snow. So be sure to tune in. 44 degrees was the high today. 36 uh, was the low. Now, we had two hundredths of an inch of rain, but we actually had a trace of snow out there with some of the snow showers. It is cold across the entire region, or the entire U.S., I should say. 21 in Minneapolis, Bismarck, 29, a lot of cold air. It's coming from Canada. It's 12 in La Ronge, Canada. Very, very cold air uh, moving in from uh, just to our north. So 20s and 30s across the region at this moment, but it feels even colder. This is the wind chill in Salem, 19, Paoli, 18. So with that wind out there, it's making it feel much colder. Snow showers now pushing through Frankfurt and Lexington. They were around our area just a couple hours ago. One thing to note is a snow band, lake effect snow forming in Buffalo tonight. You can see the band already starting to form right there. And lake effect is so cool. It's just literally formed from the lakes. The air is so cold, the lake's still warm. The air rises and that produces just constant snow. Look how much they're going to get over the next several days. About 9 to 12 inches of snow just south of Buffalo tonight through tomorrow night. But look what happens Thursday night through Saturday. Wow. Two to three feet of snow around the Buffalo area, maybe more than that. That's 24 to 36 inches of snow or more. That is incredible. All right, back home to us. 28 degrees overnight tonight. That's our forecast low. 40 degrees tomorrow. Some of us might not even get there. Some of us will stay in the 30s with a mix of clouds and sun. Futurecast tells the story the next several days. Maybe some clouds early tomorrow. We'll be fighting a few of those clouds. But by the afternoon, we should turn a little bit on the brighter side. And then another front's going to push through. This is going to reinforce the cold air once again Friday morning. I would not be surprised if a few flurries fall from these clouds Friday morning. But then that quickly pushes out if here the sun comes out for your Friday afternoon. Man, look at that. It looks more like January. Temperatures in the 30s the next several days. Lows in the 20s. Some teens for overnight lows Friday night and Saturday night. Sunshine, though, for the weekend and into early next week. Finally, Rick, we're warming it up a bit. Mid to uh, upper 50s by the middle of next week. I agree with you. It's going to make it feel like it is a really long winter. We're not even there. When it's this early and it's <laughs> yeah. not even winter yet. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Daniel.